Oh, good morning folks welcome to another video um, today I'm actually at uh, Blagden Reservoir this morning and um, I think most people head off to uh, Chu Valley Reservoir which is just the next re reservoir along not far from here only a few miles to be fair and I think that's sort of the favoured one um, but I just thought Do you know what I will to come down here this morning I've got my Lumix with the uh, Sigma 400 mm lens on and I'm just photographing this guy behind me who's fly fishing and I said on the previous video that I absolutely love fly fishing I used to do a lot of it myself um, and it was just the calmness just the being out on your own the solitude I guess that's why I like landscape photography as well you're just out on your own uh, you know enjoying nature and all the rest of it and it's just peaceful you know when you've got a busy life stressful life and all the rest of it it's just nice to step out of it and Come down somewhere like here and do a bit of fishing but this is not a fishing channel this is a photography channel so um yeah i just thought this guy it's just something the way that um you know when you cast a uh a fly fishing uh rod and the line into the water it's just the way that it sort of whips around your head and sort of falls out into the water it's just beautiful really something really calming about it so i'm just trying to capture this guy um i'm at about sort of um 200 mil length um and i am shooting at sort of f11 had to turn the iso up to 400 to get about um shut speed of about a thousandth of a second and um, just to slow that sort of speed because what i want to do is get capture him um as the sort of line is going out and take quite a few like burst shots almost um of the line going out so i can pick the one i want when the line is in the perfect position just of his head sort of swirling around over his head as he's casting it out and i'm just hoping He's going to catch a fish in a minute, so uh, yeah, just going to hang around for that, really. But certainly, if he's anything like me, he'll be waiting a long time to catch a fish. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, it's just so peaceful out here, so, so peaceful. Anyway, let's see what he can get. So, just while um, the fly fishing guy has disappeared, I'm guessing he's probably gone uh, maybe to use the restroom or to even uh, change his flies or whatever he's doing. But that's his actual fishing rod just there, look. Uh, so he's usually stood there. So I'm taking a few different shots. I'm taking a shot sort of in at about, um, probably about 230, something like that. And I'm just putting him in the bottom right-hand corner of the frame just to sort of show him in his environment like that and i'm quite liking this grass sort of creeping in here um there's just a slow ripple and i'm liking the sort of difference in reflection obviously coming from the sky there uh, just in the image so that's what i'm taking there was a bit of mist around earlier just on these upper hills there were only a little bit of mist but it was just sort of setting a nice scene really um so that's what i'm taking i'm also sort of taking a shot this way sort of zoomed right in just to get him and again I'm just putting him in the bottom right hand corner of the frame uh, be nice to get him with some birds just flying over like there was some there and yeah it's just a real nice morning really really simple sort of shot I'm obviously hand holding that's why I've turned the um, the ISO up to sort of 400 to give me 500 for a second if I zoom in to about where I was before um, F8, what I might do is just turn it up slightly. I was getting sort of um, thousandth for a second, which would just give me enough speed there just to, uh, just to freeze time really and get that, um, really get that cast uh, nailed sort of stopped dead almost um, so that there's not really any movement in it. So that's what I'm sort of framing up here. And yeah, just, uh, just enjoying it. Like I say, just hand, hand holding. No tripod involved, I want to be able to be free just to move around, get the shot that I want uh, without being sort of, um, sort of bogged down by having a tripod with me. So yeah, that's what we're looking at. What I would say about this lens is I don't think it's quite long enough for um, bird photography. Um, landscape photography, brilliant for bird photography. I just think you could do with that bit of extra reach, um, especially, you know, stood next to this wall here, 
um, I guess I've probably got a good 20 meters to the edge of the lake there uh, this is private property in there so um, not allowed to go in unless I'm part of the fishing club or I work for Bristol Water um, so I'm sort of stuck to the outside of this lake although I could walk around and get a bit closer and that sort of thing um, so you could get some fantastic bird shots with this uh, with this lens but I think I mean not being a birder and um, you know it's not it's not my thing really but I can imagine that that's an extra reach maybe to 600 mil so the 150 to 600 might be the better um, uh, the better buy over this lens if that's what your um, if that's what your thing is uh, but sort of for landscape photography my construction photography um, that sort of thing this lens is uh, is a pretty bit of kit and I should imagine for weddings also this could be a good camera um, ca uh, lens to have also but yeah it's, uh, definitely recommend it I just wish I could get out more to shoot with this uh, with this lens really yeah, so I feel a bit sorry for the guy. He's just literally come back from his break, letting the water rest and all the rest of it. And he's just come back, first casting, managed to catch something. I managed to get an image um, of him reeling it in, but then it just sort of escaped his line. So it's uh, he, he lost it as he was reeling it in, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, he's back out there fishing now. So uh, hopefully, hopefully he's going to catch something else. And I can get the action caught on camera. So uh, yeah, that's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> So he has just had another fish that he's managed to land. So that's two that I've seen him get this morning, one that he's missed. Um, just seems to be fishing the same spot. And I've got loads of images of him fishing. Uh, so now I'm just after a bit of uh, bit of B-roll um, of him sort of reeling a fish in. I managed to get the last one. I managed to, just looking back, I managed to get one that's sort of arcing out the water when he's sort of reeling it in, uh, which is a pretty cool shot. So. Um, yeah, just sort of staying in the same spot really. Um, quite enjoying this one. I am tempted to sort of walk a bit further around the lake and see if I can get any other fly fishing guys. There is some right in the far distance there. Um, but I am just enjoying uh, this guy fishing here. Just, just the way that the embankment sort of comes out with the grasses. And is, I like the fact that he's got his, uh, his net sort of just sort of pushed into the water there. Uh, it actually looks like he's just gone off for uh, for a drink now, so uh, he's probably that's probably give me him now for another quarter of an hour, I should imagine, and then you come back to it. But yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed. I've got some good shots on today, so yeah, just enjoying being here. It's like I say, not the sort of thing I'd usually shoot at all. Um, but yeah, just uh, just enjoying being stood here by this wall, just watching them fish away really peaceful watching the birds and all that yeah, it's just really nice and peaceful So I thought I'd just sit back out in the car now. The guys have uh, they've just gone in for a sandwich or whatever they're doing. Uh, they're just sat on their chair, sort of taking it all in. So I just managed to get some great B-roll actually of a um, of a uh, a bird. I don't know what type of bird it is. Like I say it's not it's not uh, my forte birds and that sort of thing. But I just managed to catch a one uh, diving under, getting a fish and coming. Well, I managed to get him coming out and then sort of battering the fish about and eating it whole. Uh, poor fish, but um, yeah, I'm really happy I managed to catch that out of some B-roll, uh, which is great. So yeah, just like, uh, just really enjoying this morning. It's just just so peaceful. Uh, I know I've said that a million times and sorry to keep repeating myself, but it's just so peaceful. And, um, you know, this lake is just so quiet, so beautiful. Like I said, I do think it gets overlooked somewhat um, with Chew Valley Lake being so close and the fact that they've got that walk all around Chew Valley. Um, I do think it gets overlooked, but um, 
yeah, it's a beautiful lake. If you live nearby, uh, it's well worth coming down here. I wish I'd got down here a bit earlier, to be honest to you, because I know, I know these fishermen would have been out fairly early, because uh, it's always the best time, sort of sunset, sunrise, to uh, to sort of do your fishing. Uh, that's usually what I used to have most success at that those, those sort of times of day. So yeah, um, yeah, just gonna sort of have a bit of a break myself now, and then uh, get back out in a bit, and hopefully get some more good shots. Now, by no means am I a wildlife photographer or videographer, definitely not. But I've really enjoyed myself this morning, just with the uh, fly fishermen out doing their thing on the lake and uh, you know, just watching the birds doing fishing also. And I'm uh, really happy that I managed to catch that one fish, sort of uh, having its breakfast, I really like that. Yeah, so uh, I've been sort of here for quite a few hours now, just sort of wandering around and taking some B-roll footage and getting some shots and trying to photograph the damselflies failing miserably. Lots of shots of grass and not actually of a damselfly, but it was quite enjoyable watching them sort of minding their own business, flying around me, mocking me. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this little video uh, from Blagden Reservoir. And uh, somewhere I'm definitely going to come again. Again, it's somewhere local that I've always overlooked for big and better things. Or what I've said or thought in my head was big and better things. When actually, this place has loads of opportunity. Um, especially early morning. Uh, especially when there is um, fly fishing guys out here minding their own business. I can guarantee that they'll be out here early morning. So some definite decent shots to have, especially if you've got some slightly misty conditions, which I feel like I say every time, but it is one of my favorite type of conditions to uh, wake up to as a misty morning. Anyway, hope you've liked the video. Um, if you have, please leave a like, it helps out massively and I really appreciate it. And uh, subscription to the channel would be absolutely amazing. Please leave a comment below and for now I will leave you guys to it and I'll continue to see what else I can get here. So it's bye from me and bye for now. I'll see you in the next one.